Hi, I'm Ellie from The Dark Imp, helping parents reclaim family time by playing board games together. When people find out what I do for a living, they often say, oh, I used to love board playing board games when I was a child. And my initial uh, instinct is to say, well, what changed? Don't you like playing them now? And of course, as we grow older, many people play less, play also in all sorts of ways, whether it's uh, playing video games or whether it's just sort of general free play and laughter. That sense of play and delight through play uh, reduces as we get older. And that's a real shame. And we know from lots of studies that play is really important and it helps to keep our stress levels um, down and helps to connect us with other people. So uh, playing board games actually is one of the easiest ways to keep playing when you're an adult. So it always really saddens me when I hear people say, oh, I used to love that. Well, that's an activity if you used to love it, you probably still do. And guess what? Board games are so much better than when my generation was children. And uh, that there's so much more variety now that it isn't just... Uh, the games that you used to play that you can get that you can get now. So possibly some people's uh, opinion of board games is that they are an activity for children. And the games that we used to play in our house may not have helped that. So, you know, in our childhood, uh, lots of games like Mousetrap and um, Hungry Hippos and Frustration, and those sorts of games, they're quite luck based. They um, rely have you know, th th there are some quirky gimmicks in them, but they rely heavily on luck. And maybe they're not that interesting for adults to play. You might have one go and then think, oh, do you know what? Ludo wasn't that great. And we only played it because we didn't have anything else to do. Well, that may be true. And it's still true of those games. So don't play those games. But there's so much better games to play and it might surprise you to know how many new games are published every year. Last year alone, over 4,000 new games were published and it's the same every year. It's increasing. There are adults very close to you who will be playing board games as a hobby on a regular basis. I do this myself. There are huge events normally. Uh, conventions that attract thousands and thousands of people. There are game groups all over the country. There are many, many adults playing absolutely brilliant games, but maybe you don't know that yet. So look, if you used to like playing games as a child, go and explore, see what's out there as an adult, and start playing again now. Because really, you know, if you are a parent, this is one of the best activities you can do with your family. Playing board games brings families closer together. It strengthens relationships and it creates these shared memories that we can come back to time and time again. So forget about it being something that children do. It's not, it's something that everyone can do no matter what age you are. Go and find some brilliant games and play them either with your adult friends or with your family.